In this video, we will be discussing about how to design a 4 cross 1 multiplexer using a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. In the previous video, we have seen that how to design a 8 cross 1 multiplexer or 4 cross 1 multiplexer using logic gates. So, in this video, we will discuss that there is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer and how that can be designed using a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So, before going to the design part, so let us understand the 4 cross 1 multiplexer, what inputs it have? It have always 4 inputs. So, what are the inputs? I will name that as I0, I1, I2 and I3. There will be one output and there will be two select lines to control the uh, to control the circuit. That means, it will select that which output is going to appear across the output. So, to design a 4 cross 1 using a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, the first thing is we have to write the truth table for that and from the truth table, we need to understand that how to convert that. So, what will be the truth table? So, first is we have the selection line. So, I will write that in one side and then we have the output here. So, if there are two selection lines, so inputs will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and the outputs will be if the select line is 0, 0, then the output will be I0. If 0, 1, then the output will be I1. If 0, 2, output will be I3 and if 0, 3, then the output 1, 1, 1, then output will be I3. Okay. So, now this is the 4 cross and multiplexer that we have written here. From this what we need? We need to design using 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So, what I know about 2 cross 1 multiplexer? So, about a 2 cross 1 multiplexer I know that it can take 2 inputs which can be I0 and I1. It will have 1 output and it will have 1 selection line. So, this is a 2 cross 1 multiplexer I know. Now, how to design this? So, first of all I know that if there is a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, it can handle only 2 inputs, right? So, that means from the 4 input that is available to us, we can handle only 2 inputs at a time. So, what we will do is, we will divide this particular truth table into 2 parts. So, why 2 parts? So, this will be my 1 multiplexer I will use here. So, this will be my 2 cross 1 multiplexer and this one also I will divide into a another 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay, so, here the output is let us say y1, here the output is let us say y2. Okay. So, now I have two, uh, 2 cross 1 multiplexers which can individually control i0, i1 and i2, i3. Now, what you see here, so see s0 and s1. So, this value is 0 and 1. So, here also this value is 0 and 1, right. So, now this s0 input if I give here to this multiplexer and to this multiplexer as well. So, whenever the S0 is equals to 0, then this output will be I0 and this output will be I2 according to 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay. Whenever S0 is equals to 1, in that case output will be I1 here and for this multi second multiplexer output will be I3 here. So, now I need a 1 output, right. So, 4 inputs we have handled here. So, for getting the 1 output, so it will do one more stage of 2 cross 1 multiplexer we will use here to which the input is y1 and y2 and the output is 1, it also need one selection line. So, here we have given s0, if I write s1 here, now you see the s1 value. So, this is 0 here and this is 1 here, right. That means, if s1 is equals to 0, so what will happen? So, this will select only the y1 value. Then after S1 is equals to 0, if S0 is equals to 0, then it will select I0 value. In that case, my output will be I0, right? So, what is the input here? S0 and 0. So, you see here 0 and 0 and what is the output? Output is I0, okay? Similarly, if we take S is equals to, I will erase this. So, let us take some other input. If S1 equals to, let us say 1, and S0 is equals to 0. Okay. So, in that case what will happen? So, first of all if S0 is equals to 0 in these two multiplexers, so S0 equal to 0 means here the output will be I0 and here the output will be I2. Okay. Now, if S1 is equals to 1, then what will happen for this particular multiplexer? The output will be whatever the output is available here that is Y2. So, that value will be equals to I2 now. Right. So, you see here 0 1. So, S 0 is 0 here, S 0 is 0 here and S 1 is 1 here. So, this particular combination
sorry not this combination so s0 is 0 here and s1 is 1 here so this particular combination if i am taking then i am get outside get the output as i2 which i am getting here so neatly if i draw this diagram again how it will look like so first we have a 2 cross 1 multiplexer it has two inputs i will give this i0 and i1 one output will be there which is let us say y1 there will be another 2 cross 1 multiplexer to this the inputs will be i2 and the inputs will be i3 so four inputs are here this output let us say y2 to this i am giving the selection line as s0 so to both i am giving one selection line that is s0 i am connecting there okay now these two outputs i am giving to another 2 cross 1 multiplexer here so the output will be equals to 1 and the selection line will be equals to s1 so this is how a 4 cross 1 multiplexer can be designed using a using 3 2 cross 1 multiplexers so why 4 cross 1 multiplexer i0 i1 i2 and i3 is there so two selection lines are used s0 and s1 and one output is there that is your y so now i can say this particular circuit behaves as a 4 cross 1 multiplexer okay fine so in the next video we will discuss that how to design a 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 4 cross 1 or 2 cross 1 multiplexer so whatever multiplexer is given we will try to do that